On today's episode of Garage Noise, we're going to take a look at this dent puller and see if it's worth the money. Okay, now we have everything unboxed. This is the G90E Spot Panel Repair Tool. Like I said, this is a really inexpensive tool. Other tools of this caliber or other tools that do these, the functions that this tool does, run anywhere from a thousand to three thousand. So I thought I'd give this a try. This is like 280 i think i said i think I, I bought it off of amazon i'll leave the link in the description if it's something you're interested in but for my purposes i'm looking for a finish tool that just allows me to quickly weld weld something on there pull out a dent and then finish it um rather than my stud welder because the stud welder takes a little bit more time and and it's just a little bit more difficult so i'm something i'm looking for something to pull out little dings that are, are going to be very easy and just to finish it so I can metal finish some dents or, or do something like that. So I thought this might work out well. It might not. It might be a total flop, but for right now, we're going to test it out. But let me go through what we have here. These are wavy, a little wavy wire. And what you do is you, there's an adapter that adap adapts to this gun that you go in and you weld each of these onto the panel. So if you have a long crease down your panel, you can weld this on there and then you can use this hook on the dent puller itself. This screws onto this uh, slide hammer and you can hook it on here, something similar to that, and pull out the dent all at once. So that might be handy. This might be handy. Um, you've got your actually actual welding gun here. And like I said, you can apply different tips to it. Um, this is a tip where you can weld it on, you twist and you pull it out and then you twist and turn it and it releases it. And then you also have um, circles here. I'm not, you know, there's gonna be, I'm not sure why you would weld these on there, but you, they slide in this adapter and then you weld the edge on there. And then you probably get a tool on here and pull out the dent. But these, these are the ones that seem like they might be really handy. And these are these little loops here. You can weld those on. You can weld them on in a series. So if you have, a, again, a crease, and then you put a, slide a rod through them and you pull them all out at once. And it pulls them at different levels. So this seems like this might work well. As long as this machine welds, then I don't see how it's going to, you know, be a flop. But... If it doesn't have enough power, that's where I'll be concerned. Or if the connections aren't good, so or the quality of the machine and how long it lasts. So we won't know that until down the road, and I'll probably do a video about the durability of it maybe, but we'll see if it even works, uh, first of all. <laughs> so let's take this out. Let's, uh, oh, you get the slide hammer tool here too, and this has a different adapters on it. It has this uh, suction cup so if you have larger dents and you want to pull them out quickly and just to see how they come out you can attach this here and slide hammer out that might come in handy it's just kind of like a bonus thing um, of course you have your owner's manual this is the handle for the top of this and then you have a couple little tools you have a hook here and I'm sure this is for the circle washers and then here are a couple of the adapters that hold the washers and the other uh, uh, little adapters. And I think these are shrinking rods. They go in the welder itself, but we'll have to figure that out. But I, yeah, these are shrinking rods. So you would heat up an area. If you have an area that's, that's uh, like tin canny and it's not real strong, then you would weld this on there, heat up the metal around it, and then it would shrink that metal and firm up that panel. So that's a good thing to have, and hopefully it works well. But, so let's go out into the shop. I have a vehicle that is getting ready for paint. It has some dents and dings in it, and it's completely stripped down to bare metal. I'll show you that project. That's gonna be in some upcoming videos, but we will show you how this works, and if it works well, and whether you should invest some money in it. As you can see here, there's a dent right here. I put some guide coat in it. This is about a quarter size dent, if you can't tell, and I sanded it so you can see where the dent is. Now I'm gonna grind it off and we'll check out the spot dent puller 
and see how it does on Okay, so I got this ground down and ready to pull. I've got my uh, negative on, which it's been a little bit easier to use that negative now that I turned it up to high heat. I still think I'm gonna change it, but for now it's working. So let's just weld right in the center of this and see how it does. And the ground came off. Okay, let's try it again. Weld it in the center. That pulled it out nicely. Okay, I'm gonna grind that clean. Okay, so let's just sand it. Okay, and as you can see, I over pulled this dent just a little bit right here in the center. Um, there's still a little low spot here, but it's much better. You can see it's pretty much almost gone. That could be almost metal finish and a little glaze and that would repair very well. So what are my overall thoughts on this machine? Just first using it, getting out of the box. This ground sucks. Um, it takes a little bit to get used to getting it on there. I think I'm gonna change that. But as far as the welding, the tip I was using is good for finish work and good for pulling out small dents. Now, if you had to do a larger dent, I don't know how it would work. and. I'm not gonna test that today, but I may make another video testing that. But for smaller dents, it's gonna work well. And I think there's an other attachments that are gonna be bigger, better for larger dents. Um, it does seem a little under power. And one thing I did notice and that helps it to work better is when you're attaching the, when you're attaching the tip to it, you don't wanna press down. It's actually better if you just let it sit on there and it welds better if you're just letting it sit on there and it and uh, hit the button. And then it well it seems to weld a lot better that way. When you're pressing down on it cuz you you know, you automatically want to press down on, hey, get it welded on there. Um, it doesn't weld quite as well. So that's curious, but overall, I think it's going to work well for what I'm using it for. I don't know if it would work well for you, but it seems like it's working well for what I'm using it for, okay? So I'm gonna have a link in the description if it's something you're interested in. It does work. Um, it is, you know, a third of the cost of a different machine. So take that into consideration and it's, I think it would be pretty good for a hobbyist. Um, or someone who wants to use it like I'm using it to finish uh, a dent. So listen up, if you wanna learn how to paint this vehicle here, I've got a video coming up where we're gonna do a complete paint job on this truck and I'm gonna walk you through all the steps it takes. So if you wanna increase your knowledge and build your skill, start now by subscribing to the channel. We'll see you next time.